How do I analyze static images in Pasco Capstone software? It's prominent and fairly well known that Pasco Capstone can support the analysis of moving objects in a video file, but it can also support the analysis of the positions of objects in a static image. To do this, we first need to create an image display. I'll double click image from the displays list. This gives me a number of choices. For image analysis, I could choose to either open and analyze an existing image file or use something like a connected USB webcam to capture and analyze a new image. I already have an existing image, so I'm going to choose open and analyze image file. And I have already taken a photo in the JPEG format of this suspended string with a meter stick in it. But Capstone supports a number of image file formats for static image analysis. I'm going to open my suspended string JPEG image, and it opens in analysis mode. This means there are already two important tools turned on for me. One of these tools allows me to define the origin for my analysis. In this case, I'm going to put the origin at the bottom of my hanging string. This defines the origin and the directions of the x and y axes. If I wanted to, and if it was appropriate for my image, I could grab and rotate the x and y axes. In this case, I want to leave it as it originally is. Secondly, I need to be able to translate from pixels in this image to real-world distances. To do that, I'm going to use this calipers tool. I'm going to grab each end and drop it on an image of known dimensions here. I know that this is a meter stick one meter long. If it weren't one meter long, I could simply click in here and enter my known real-world distance. So I've defined the coordinate system and the translation between pixels and real world distances. I'm now ready to begin my analysis, which in this case, uh, I'm going to define the, uh, some of the positions on the suspended string. To do this, I first need to create an image object or a tracked object. So I'm going to click on this button. And now I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to go and basically click on various points on this string. To make this easier, I'm going to turn on magnification and that means I can see a little bit easier what I'm clicking on. So I'm going to go about every 10 centimeters or so along this meter stick, and each time I click, you'll notice that I get a crosshair is dropped on the position of my click. Now what's happening as I click? Well, it's defining uh, data points, x and y coordinates for each of these deposited click crosshairs. How do I know that? Well, I can, for example, go over and drag a table onto my page I'll resize that so we can still see the image prominently. And I can choose measurements for my table. I might choose X position and Y position. And right now it looks like there's nothing there. But in fact, since this is in meters, uh, these are just very small numbers. So I'm going to click this button to give me some more decimal places. All right, so I'll return to adding additional analysis points here. There's my third one, fourth, fifth, I'll continue along this string approximately every 10 centimeters until I think I've defined its shape fairly well. Notice that I get a new XY coordinate pair for each of these clicks. All right, so I've defined those points along my suspended string, and this is now data inside Pasco Capstone. Well, what does that mean? Well, I can do with this data anything I can do with data in Capstone. So, for example, I could create a graph display and graph the y position against the x position. And I could go on to do further analysis, for example, doing curve fits. Uh, in this case, I might want to do a user-defined curve fit. And I've previously put in the catenary equation here. So if I apply that, you can see that I have done a curve fit with the catenary equation to the positions along the suspended string.